Hello, Griffin family. Welcome back to We Talk D&D. My name is Ryan, and I am your dungeon mentor through your Dungeons and Dragons journey. Real quick note on statistics on this channel. We have grown a ton in the last month or so, and I wanted to say thank you. I also saw a shocking number that 75% of you guys who watch are not subscribers yet. If only half of you would subscribe, it would make some amazing milestones occur for us. It would really help me and I would really appreciate it. Thank you all for being amazing parts of my Dungeons & Dragons YouTube journey. <laughs> Alright, back to this week's Dungeons & Dragons journey. So either you or your players have played in Run for so long you can't remember anything else. Perhaps you want to give those experienced players a new place to play and new things to play with. You could homebrew or world build for months or get this, the Midgard World Book for 5e by Kabul Press. Stick around to the end because I'm going to blow your mind with a free resource every DM will be drooling over. Quick note, this note is not sponsored at all and it is just my opinion. I just wanted to share a great resource with you that I use all the time. Uh, Kabul Press, if you're watching, you're more than welcome to reach out and change that sponsorship thing at any time. The Midgard campaign setting can be used for D&D or Pathfinder, and it's an amazing option for new and experienced DMs and players. The depth that Wolfgang Bauer and Richard Green, and of course the rest of the team at Kabul Press, have put into this thing is nothing short of amazing. I have used this setting many times on my own. I've dropped many more parts of it into mysteries into my Run campaigns, and my current 5e campaign is set here even though my players don't know that until I guess right now. <laughs> All right, the reason I love this book so much is how many different distinct areas they are. Specifically, there are 10 of them. You can live forests and deserts, mountains, the Arctic and cities right from this book and put them anywhere you need them to be, good to go. Each of them has unique lore for everything you would need to make a memorable adventure or an entire campaign out of just one of those regions, let alone the whole place. The options this book gives you are vast and unlike anything you've seen before, and yet still aren't so crazy that it feels very much like the game we love. As an example, my players just finished a bunch of sessions in Carnessa. This forest is a sentient forest where everything is alive including a Dreadwalker that just tore an adult dragon into two parts right in front of them. The entire set of sessions were inspired by what was really less than one and a half pages of this 461 page book. Each of the 10 regions have adventure hooks right inside the book. There's fully developed histories of the area, fleshed out cities, factions, unique properties and problems for the whole region. There are regional and fully developed city maps inside too. All of these 10 regions blend together wonderfully and so the world feels alive and very, very real. And I might add, deadly. There are new monsters, magic items and spells, as well as an entire pantheon for you to play with. They also have several new game mechanics that you can choose to introduce or not. A tip to my dungeon masters. This book, along with Kabul Press's Creature Codex, right here, is a great way for you to add things to your games that your experienced players have never seen before. The thrill that experienced players get for fighting through new game mechanics, newly developed magic items and creatures they've never seen before is amazing. When you see their eyes light up, as they realize they're getting new content and get to feel that new to the D&D feeling again, it's really fun and rewarding as a Dungeon Master. Before I get to the amazing free resource for Dungeon Masters, I'd also like to tell you that Kabul Press has tons of extra things available for the Midgard campaign, including adventures, full campaigns, 
a player handbook that adds tons of class options, spells and magic items and more. Griffin Family Dungeon Masters, you will not regret picking up this book and adding these resources to your library. I promise you that. Now, on to the free resource that Kabul Press has provided. It's this world map. No, it's not an ordinary map. It's a digital map. You can zoom in on it and zoom in and in some more. It has all of the regional maps. It's got city maps. You can search in it, not just for cities and big things, but also smaller towns, ruins, and other small points of interest. It will also do distance mapping for you right on the online tool. You can have it show each of the kingdoms, political borders, and more overlaid right on top. You will love this map so much. It works on PCs, Macs, tablets, and phones alike, so you're never without your map. Also, a paper copy does come with the book when you buy it. Griffin family, you are all amazing, and I am so thankful to be your Dungeon Mentor. See you next week, and as always, good luck out there.